Jehovah, you are. I trust in you. Oh Lord, Jehovah, you. Jehovah, you, I trust in you. Oh, Lord, Jehovah, you, I trust in you. I believe, I believe you are the God of... Yes, so good uh, afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, how are you doing? Uh, it's terrible. I'm receiving very bad reports from home. Ah, ah, Mandi Naikawa. Naikawa, Tafiri Winefin to Kuzambia. Ah, Fidel Wadika. Fidel Wadika, I'm telling you. Ah, to a fair enough, Yakuchita. Nidia Kovati, Kwati, you are between a hard place and the rock, you know? That's that's the way I feel. You are in a hard place and the rock. Eh? You know, you are receiving reports home. Ifine fi, ifine fi, ifine fi. So many things which are not going right. I'm telling you, when you just move, when you move out of your place, ah, things just start crumbling. They just crumble, crumble, crumble. Everything is crumbling, in, including just the the grass. You know, just the grass. <laughs> grass here, Panganda. I was looking at my my dog. Yeah, it is sick. Ah, it is very sick. The dog is very sick. Ah, it's bad. It's really bad. Mm. It's bad. It's bad. Ah, and then you know. You come also this side, it has got its own challenges. Being here also has got its own challenges. Ah, my cover, my cover, my cover, my cover. By you, PND, ever they take, ever they go. By you, PND, today take one of you, PND. And you see, for me, I don't have a problem with anyone leading. I don't have a problem with anyone leading. Uh, yeah, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with Haka in the HDMI leading Zambia. I don't have a problem with UPND leading Zambia. The issue is, I mean, what you do with government. That is the issue. In our Vanessa, it is not anything like that. I don't want Haka in the HDMI to be president. Some of you even bring in the issue of tribe. No, I'm far from that. Far from that. And I, for me, I know that my time has not, has not come. My time has not come. So I, I don't have to be bitter against Saka in the Ichirema. No, I don't have to. I'm not even jealous. I, I'm not. I am not. I've got no issue with Saka in the Ichirema being president. I've got no issue. The problem is how they are governing. This is where we have a problem. And sometimes, you know, I think of like, some of you, you like to say, hey, what hey, you are there because of your mouth, because of your mouth. But if you are there, you are there, you are there, you are Some of us, we have got a strong sense of justice. We want to see things right. We feel bad when people are suffering. So, things which are happening in Zambia, it's very difficult to, for some of us, with that strong sense of 
uh, justice, that, that desire for advocacy, it's very difficult for some of us to keep quiet. I could, I could, I could have really kept quiet. I could have, I'm going through challenges, seriously. I'm going through challenges. And those challenges, I really wish, like, you know, you could turn things around. You know, sometimes, to be honest with you, sometimes I'm, I'm even tempted. I wonder what you know, I, I get tempted like that. Frankly speaking, I do. I do. Kairi ira kosa na ikosa na ikosa na ikosa, and I just that I mean I cannot just undress myself, you know, in public. I can't undress myself at all. Ni fine fine fine. I can only go as far as telling you that. And I know some of you, you tell me, no, be strong and whatever, whatever. It's true. It's true. I need to be strong. But yeah, yeah, recover. Yeah, recover. So, the point I'm trying to make to you is that, in a, not recover, not kosa. But unfortunately, when I look at what is going on in Zambia, I, I, I can't fail to talk. I, I can't keep quiet. I can't. I can't. It's it's too much what is going on. I'm a light takuri. I don't know I'm a light in Ghana, but stuff is shut down, you know, because a number of places they don't have electricity. And it has been going on for days. It has been going on for days. But this that you are light starting first September. But no, the situation is bad. The situation is bad in many areas. There is no power in many areas. And this is not just for about 17 hours. No, it is about, you know, days, people going for days without power. I'm receiving so many people complaining. Our mama industries, our mama nankane, our leshtisha ifintu, you know, mama supermarkets. They are complaining. Ifintu fiaonaika, ifintu fiaonaika. And they keep telling me, please, 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 but really, I mean, these are people that, now, we move in over the social media, we move in to come, we move in to come, we move in to come, to come, but praise singer, you are, I mean, I've seen somebody using, I'm a, eh, like, somebody's asking me at where, I'm a, 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 Nyambe muyundale ya sukati, ale, ale njipushati, wea, okushia malaiti. Hey. Teshi wakushia malaiti, nyambe muyunda. <laughs> Apapa Facebook wapa, muasuke niko. Tampeni ukumueva, ukulando kushia malaiti. <laughs> Teka la Mzambia, uh -uh. he doesn't know where there is no power. Hmm? Power has been gone for days. For days, and a number of people are complaining, and really, that is bad. That is so bad. Then, you can talk about other things. Even some of you, you are busy talking about, hey, Mopane, hey, 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 Mungush Textile, hey, hey, KCM. Look, I will tell you, I will give you PND for Mungush Textile. I will give, I will give you PND and Aka in the Mulungush textile. I will congratulate them for that one. I mean, that one is job well done. Jo that one is job well done. Mungu fuikisha wino wino. You can even cut it and secret it as much as you want. The fact is that I am congratulating UPND and Haka in the Ichirima for opening uh, Mulungush textile. And I can only pray that he you know, the company takes off and it succeeds. Uh, I am not that politician that he is uh, 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 malevolent, male malevolent. No, I'm not. I want things to be, I want things to be, to be good. I want things to be good because when things are okay, then the Zambian people will benefit. So I'm wishing Mulungushi takes down as well as, uh, you know, the management and everybody, I'm wishing them all the best. And I'm praying that that company succeeds. We need it. It is very important. It can help us. So I am wishing them all the best. To UPND and Akainde Chilema, congratulations. Only Mulungushi takes time. 
But when you talk about Mopani, when you talk about KCM, the story is totally different. The, sto the story is totally different. Murungushi, eh, 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 Mopani and KCM, there is no progress. Kudia kulifyo wuka, walala, kudi wupupu, kudi corruption. Kuli corruption, kuli Mopani na KCM, ukokwena, mwilai katako, nukui katako. I know Kabuso is busy. Now, look up, instead of being a minister, eh, instead of being a minister, Kabuso na English change to Yabu PR. Eh, Kabuso is now the PR, the chief uh, a, a spokesperson for KCM. Every day he's busy posting on social media, you know, uh, trying to uh, uplift the, the, the image of, of, of KCM. But you cannot, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot, you cannot sort out uh, KCM with Vedanta because Vedanta is a useless company. Vedanta is a spoiled company. Vedanta is gone. Vedanta has got no reputation internationally. Vedanta has got no money. That Mopani needs money. Mopani needs money for them to to. To, 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 to turn around Mopani, to uh, 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 KCM, they need money. We need money there. But Vedanta doesn't have money. So where are they going to get the money to pump in? You need money to pump in. Not uh, this nonsense of Kabuso talking about it. No, now I need 250, 250. We need money to pump in there. We need money to pump in there. And they said they're going to bring 1.5 billion. They're going to bring 1.5 billion because Kabuso is talking about uh, 250 million, 250 million as if that is all. No, this is to sort out the creditors. But we need money to pump into the mine. And Vedanta doesn't have money because even the 250 that they are talking about, they had to source it locally. They had to abuse our public institutions to get that money. So there is no life in KCM with Vedanta. There is no life. No matter how much Kabuso would dance around, would dance around, would dance around, trying to be to do PR for them. It is just a matter, it is just a matter of time. Vedanta will go down. But like I have been saying, you will see other people coming in. Vedanta will wash hands. And when Aka in the HDM and now they will come and pretend to say they are buying it off. That's what they will do. But that is not good because it is going into the hands of foreigners. It's going into the hands of Bakabualala. Those are the ones who will be making money. Those are the ones that will be making money. So on KCM, forget it. I will try to write an article with a few information that I've gotten. I will write an article tomorrow. I want to be writing because though you people, you, have, you, you know, people discourage me from writing. If you write, ah, no, it's too wrong, it's too long. But now, I mean, I've realized, I'll forget my skill of writing. So, I'll resume, you know, writing, I'll be writing. It's okay. But I'll be writing. So, tomorrow I'll write something about, uh, about KCM in the morning. Then, Mopani, it's the same thing. You give... A mind, I want to talk about it in the But now I pay Ravina Aka in the HDM. Now I pay Ravina Aka in the HDM. That's why on Mopani and KCM, I'm not saying I'm not saying anything. But when you talk about KCM, uh, what is this? Mulungush text up. I've got no issue. I've got no issue. At least so far, I've got no issue. Unless I hear something else. But so far, I've got no issue. I've got no issue. I am just saying congratulations. So but if you if you if you you know there is there is carelessness there is carelessness with by UPND there is corruption eh there is corruption big time na mufa number ah kuku kuna nkane ko airport these people now they are they are bringing they, they they are bringing in money they are doing money laundering they are bringing in Illegal things, including illegal substances, through the airport. Ama ministers, ama ministers, they are bringing in illegal substances. 
including wa Viagra na finish na finish fuma drugs they are bringing them in illegal because they don't want to be searched and they are bringing in money they are bringing in money you know but each tawa send them dalama mama no fochileva ama ama companies wa UPN de for each taka they are giving business and they are cutting deals with foreigners then they pay them ngaba bali pila kuya then ba ashifumia then ba leta ba shibwesha ba lebwesha ndalama cash 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 i know when i talk about that issue you also want me to talk about ili ashiaba diaba malanji uh, i'll be very honest with you that uh, that story is taking a very interesting twist that story is taking a very interesting twist but i will not talk now i will not talk now but i'm reading everything that is coming out of that court i'm following the case very well i've seen a number of you have been prompting me a number of you have been writing me uh, my text messages i will tell you that for now uh, my interest has been drawn my interest has been drawn and i'm looking at things keenly very carefully very carefully i will talk uh, at the right time for now i will not talk because oko ya tampiro kwili ashuku tadya pali koko ba fiona wile bali fiona ola ba state ba fiona ola but apa passage apa if balela ndefi hmm file panga ko kwat file panga sense kula nda fyo bucha chile kwat file panga ko sense but you know it's very difficult to really ukuk side if you want to then you have to go sense so you you don't know which which is which so you need to be very very careful because some, uh, at some point the government whatever but one thing that i'm very clear one thing that i'm very clear i will pay will talk later but one thing i'm very clear is the involvement of our amdara to afraid my friend so yamba because if you see, if you answer whatever they are talking about, they are talking about our friends on here, but they are talking about our Malanji. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But, you know, I'm keeping quiet because those houses that they are saying, hey, he bought this, hey, he did this, he did this, he did this. I don't know. You never know. Maybe our Malanji will come up with a source to say, Ishinganda, this house, I bought, the money came from here. This one I bought, the money came from here. If I can just maybe uh, give you, I mean, my, my, why I'm being careful so that I don't look like I'm being biased. You know, these people they have been talking about money was brought into Zambia. It was carried, paper, and whatever, whatever. The challenge which I have and which the court might have is that no one has really categorically said, Chirechola. Or whatever it is, any plastic, you get the point. No one, there is no witness who has come to testify to say, I saw them in the bank. I saw, I went, I saw them going into the bank, and in the bank they withdrew money, and they put that money muchola. Then muchola, we lifted muchola and we put it mu mundeki. No witness has come. To confirm that what was in that bag was money. This is my issue. No witness so far has come to say what was Malanji was carrying. What Malanji was carrying was money. No one has seen it. No one saw it. No one, at least no one has come out to say, yes, what I saw. Because the witness who testified about that issue i was actually in court said ni driver he said buying mu bank okay the lawyer and the, uh, somebody else uh, no no but uh, the former whatever the, the late chieng they went into the bank and when they came back they came with a bag which they put in the vehicle when they put in the vehicle we went to where Malanji was. From where Malanji was, we went to the airport. To the airport, we took Chirechola and we put in the, in the in the aeroplane. That is the testimony of a driver. Now, when you are talking about to say, Isha Adimula Nindalama and it was four point Chakut, 
There must be somebody who should be able to say, I saw the money. When you're talking about, no, the money was 4 point, 4.7, 4 4.2, whatever it is. There must be somebody who should be able to say, yes, I saw the money. And I can confirm that it was 4.7 because they withdrew it from the bank. And here is a withdraw slip or some document from the bank to say, here is the evidence that the money was withdrawn was four point chaput from the bank. There must be some evidence. And there must be somebody who should be able to see, to say, yes, I saw that that was money. Somebody must confirm that. That is my problem. I'm being very objective. That is my problem. My problem is nobody has come to testify to say, if you are in Shola Chidia, whatever it is, that, whatever they describe it, Nindalama, no one has done that. That is one thing. No one saw that money. Number two, no one is able to give the evidence to say the total amount was so much. That is where the problem is. So, fine. Now we are hearing that Malangi bought this, Malangi bought that, Malangi bought that. So we are connecting, we are assuming that oh Nishigen Dalama Sendere. But the problem is, who saw that money? Who saw that money? Who counted that money? That is I'm being very objective. And if you are talking about court, you know, there should be no doubt. Failure to somebody confirming that this was money. Ah, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Because just now we are saying, oh, soon after coming back. He bought this, he bought this, he bought this, he bought this. Who knows? Malanji might just come up and tell you to say, here is the money. I had this money. before Or somebody delivered this money and this is what, whatever. Who knows? I'm being very objective here. I'm being very, very objective. I'm not trying to, fail to, to shield Malanji. I'm being real. Because... It is possible until somebody says, I saw the money and this money, it was so much. Without that, Vagilbert Piri, Ninchwana Imo, you are part of this case. Vagilbert Piri, Ndem Pela Likage, Ndem Pela Likage. Bring a witness that will confirm to say, Avena Malange, they withdrew money from the bank. Not drive away, Kere Moto Kalero Rila. Drive away, Kere Moto Kalero Rila. Can you conclude that that's money? Can you conclude that that's money? Just because you go in a bank and you come back with a bag, does it mean what you're carrying is money? Eh? Does it mean what you're carrying is money? It's very tricky. Eh? A driver. And then you are saying it's four point chakuti. Okay, four point chakuti. Do you have a withdrawal slip? Do you have some documentation from the bank to say cash worth so much was withdrawn? Do you have? If you don't have this, it's very difficult now because when you start saying, no, he bought this, he bought this, he bought this, he bought this, he bought this. Yeah, <laughs> he bought, but can you confirm that really this is the money from Turkey? It may be true, but when you talk about legally, at proof, at beyond reasonable doubt, it's, it's very difficult. On a fair, fair, fair level playing field of justice, it's very difficult because you must prove beyond reasonable doubt. In a, I've got this doubt. Yes, in public we can say Nindarama, Nindarama, Nindarama. Yes, we can say that. We can even accuse Malanje, but before the court, it might be a different issue. So Pariba Malanji, I'll talk later. Because maybe that witness might come. But when you talk about uh, Bafred Sonyamba, it is unfortunate that Bafred Sonyamba keeps being in the dock with this issue. Because Bafred Sonyamba, the job of, of uh, uh, the secretary to the, to, the, to the treasury is just to dish out money. Is not uh, somebody, is not part of the tender, is not part of, uh-uh. Uyani accountant work for a shaft. Ni chief accountant work take 
Kumu pena fia mari sits na finish na finish. Oh, this money de fuaika. Alo le shopo shilin dalama. Atuma. Chapo. And you are hearing eh, Fred Sonyamba. He's not even mentioned. Tari deko na kutaki. Ha -ha. Tari mwona mundeke. Tari mwona mundeke. Fred Sonyamba. Tari mwona kwa wajo alishtechi. 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 Takuni. And even if he bought, where are you linking Fred Sonyamba? Just because he's the one that transferred. He did his job. Fred Sonyamba, if anything, could only be a witness who can be asked to say, did you transfer this money? Yes, I transferred it. Why did you transfer it? I transferred it because they were buying an embassy. It would end there. But to put him as a, as a suspect, as an accused as well, uh, I think Mulemu should have Fred Sonyamba. Yes, but Fred Sonyamba, what in the Kresha? But what in the Kresha? But I mean, at, at the end of the day, the man, I think we are just troubling him. Mulemu chusha fi muntu waka enauzi. Uriyanga wa muvikile fi aside, if anything, you would have... I mean, he just did his job. He just paid. Whether somebody, what they did with the money, it has got nothing to do with him. Eh. So, pari wa malanji, na tulole. Pari Fred Sonyamba, I am telling you to say, unless you just want to fix Fred Sonyamba, otherwise Fred Sonyamba has already been acquitted in this case. And if anything, you shouldn't have even been part of the, the whatever. But so far, Fred Sonyamba has been acquitted. Fred Sonyamba has been acquitted. He shouldn't have even been part of it. But even now, hearing everything that is coming out, it is sad that Fred Sonyamba is being dragged along in these matters. No, it's, it's very wrong. It's, it's, it's very wrong. So that is, the, that is, what, that is my, 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 my take on, on this issue. And I touched on it because I am talking about what by UPND Valechita. And it would be unfair for me to just talk about, uh, you know, uh, UPND and not talk about this one. So now that I've, I've, I've spoken about that one, I want to tell you that I have reliable information. I would have even mentioned the, the names of some of these people. What UPND is doing, they are getting the money out, you know, like they are paying companies, like they are paying companies. When they when they, they, they pay the companies outside, then they get the money back. And Valerie Shendarama Muma 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 bags and they don't want to be searched. They are also even bringing drugs and they don't want to be searched. They are even bringing Viagra to be hammering married women. That's why. I want to live from Zambia. You know, married people, they are, they are killing them with emotions. Eh? These people. Now, my, this request of me talking about this is coming from, from the airport, whatever, whatever. And the issue is that, you know, airport protocols, they are internationally recognized. They are internationally recognized. Ngole pita mwe airport, security ya, ya mwe airport. Takwa wati yo pantu ne government official. E pantu ni fotu remove teko. Ah ah. They follow international standards. Eh? Achan, eh, instituted by Achan, AI, whatever. That, 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 there is an institution that governs how, eh, how airports, especially international airports, are supposed to operate. So, i mwe mwe ma ministers, pantu mwe mwe nakwati mwe teko wwe. When you are flouting those uh, security uh, rules, you are actually bringing down our airport. Our airport will not be considered as safe. Shimone ndeke shikale kukwisa, some of the, uh, the, the planes may even stop coming into Zambia. They may stop coming into Zambia because of your nonsense. So stop this nonsense. You don't own those other planes where you jump in. Eh? When they are talking about checking, 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 it has got a, a time. When people can check in, when people are supposed to board, there is a time. You can't get on a plane, for example, 30 minutes before. You can't. By 30 minutes before, they should have finished boarding. And they should be able to close the doors. International flights. 
So you, you cannot say, no, because I'm a minister. No, it's not about that. It's not about that. It's about respecting how, you know, uh, planes operate, air transport operates. That's what you are respecting. And you don't want, because in the Kenga Yachero, because Parichimochi minister, Chichirifutu Chamundu, Chikada, Chichirifokwere Ndeke, those people have to write a report. They write a report. Air, air, air transport is full of reports. In the case, every detail, it has to be written. Every detail, it has to be, to be reported. Every detail has to be reported. But in Zambia, we, they are reporting, ama, you know, uh, uh, let, it, let whatever, let take off, uh, let whatever, because of these silly people. And unfortunately, you are actually doing this on, on international flights, on airlines that are coming from other countries. You are messing us up. Your corruption and your, your, your thief. Yeah, just thieving. Now, thieving, when don't bring it to other, other airlines. Don't. Don't take it to the airport. Respect the airport protocols. Even God, I'm saying that God watch over each other. Now, I'm not part of that. What that church is going to do? Obey. Let the man do his job. Don't intimidate them. Let them do it. Your security is not just about you. Wherever you go, once you get into the plane, they don't know you as a minister. No. If there you are just a passenger, you could be flying the first class, whatever VIP. It doesn't matter. You need to be checked accordingly. You could be a diplomat, even diplomats, when it comes to security. A diplomat, just because you're a diplomat, you would not go with a knife in a, in a plane. You can't. But they have to make sure that you don't have a plane. Even if you're a diplomat, you cannot go with a gun on a plane. But so security personnel has to, to make sure that they search you. They make sure that you don't have a plane. You don't have a gun. You don't have a, a knife. These are just the airport protocols. Each indicate you need to save anya. Allah, you need to save anya. A man of Yabu Kawala Kawala, if you want to Yabu Street, Fika Fika. Eh? That's why now we are even having a. a we are having the. A, what is this? The, the speaker. I don't understand. Vanelli Muti, she was uh, once, I think, a board chair for, for, for SEC, I think so. If she was not a board chair, I think she was part of the board. And she goes to intimidate people at uh, ACC. I am challenging you because Pano, Bambi Mulanda, hey, story, I story, I am challenging Vanelli Muti. I'm challenging Vanelli Muti. Let them issue a statement. If it is not true, number one, if it is not true that uh, they have not corruptly employed people who parliament they have fired a number of people and replaced them with their own people they have and they wafya mkwete mwe wa zambezi region e wafya mkwete nga wasanga tukuli mutonga nishi batonga 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 wasanga kuli mulozi balozi 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 e wafya mkwete e wafya mkwete e wafya mkwete you don't do that. You don't do that. But Nelly Muti, Kunankane, Ku Parliament, Abantu and Gwadi Batanfia, Bamo, Badi Babikafia aside, but they have just pushed them aside. They have just put them aside. They are not doing anything. And this is a problem. We have got a government that is running almost double, uh, double payroll. Almost double payroll. Because we have people that are not working. But they are being paid. Kind they can't fire them. How are they going to fire them? <laughs> they have got no reason to fire them. You know, the conditions of service in government, they are well laid down. You to fire a person, you must have a reason to fire a person. You can't just say because whatever you fire. No, you can't. So since they can't fire them because of the terms and conditions that they have, because of the conditions of service, rather, because of the conditions of service, they can't fire them. They have just packed them. Some of them but they just go there. 
They just go on choir wafi. But a number of them, they are at home. But they are receiving yama salaries. They are receiving yama salaries. And yet, but they are the ones who have become offices. They have a home. Not to show up to the country. They have to show up to the country. They have to Francis Tanganyika. Eh? Inchwe shabu puwe shabale bumba. Fia bulo kulondoro kanangu yune roi. Eh? At Craig of National Assembly. I mean, since my roi came there, I mean, it's... Fia upove fieka fieka fieka. Fia upove fieka fieka fieka. For example, because in the end, fia upove mwa lewa ta. What do you mean? Eh? Look at what happened. I told you pali iishu, which is actually in court. Ida batan vishe ama MPs. Iyo batan vishe ama MPs. What is supposed to happen is that they are supposed to be the order paper. Whatever is going to be discussed in Parliament must be on the order paper. And it must be there way before Parliament sits. So something, you cannot go, let's say, for 10 hours and say, oh, I've got this issue. And then order paper now here, Kali. Those are the rules. But we had that issue of Ama MPs, but Ama MPs, that ruling, that issue was not on the order paper and it is actually in court for judicial review and you will see you will see that the PF members uh, definitely their case will be upheld because it was not on the order paper and it is evident but these are some of the issues that are supposed to be you know where the, the clerk of national assembly is supposed to advise but we saw Moyo rendering a ruling in the evening, in the evening, when the issue was not even on the order paper. The issue came afterwards. The issue came afterwards. So these are some of the issues when I'm saying, but this is what Vaneli Muti has created at National Assembly. And somehow, it got to the to the anti-corruption commission when it got to the anti-corruption commission they called the hr and the people that other people that are involved when they were called we are hr because these things are real if in the land they are people there you will go them and ask them they will tell you they entered when upnd came into power eh? Where are you coming from? What are your qualifications? You find that a lot of them, they are just their relatives. So the evidence is overwhelming. And when Vaneri Muti got a text message, she started calling people at, at, um, at, um, at SEC. And when they didn't respond, she went there and started shouting. And these things, it's not that it was in secret. She was shouting everyone head. Why are you not picking the call and whatever, whatever? Everyone head. She was shouting. So tell me if I want you to I want to National Assembly. I want you to respond whether it is not true that you have employed your relatives there. You have fired people, you have put other people aside. And uh, you are running a double payroll, so to say. And then tell me if it is not true that people were not uh, where where SEC is, is investigating you, and the people were not at SEC. And say it if it is not true that Vaneri Muti stormed SEC. I am challenging not to know the no, no, they can't answer you. They can't answer you. They have got better things. Ah uh ah -uh. ah uh ah -uh. ah. Uh -uh. I'm bringing this in the public domain. I'm bringing this in the public domain before so many people. So many people. You can't dismiss me uh, by the fact that, no, it is just tired. Hey, he's outside Zambia. Uh -uh, you can't dismiss me. You can't dismiss me for these reasons. Number one, I am a citizen of Zambia. Even if I'm out of Zambia, I'm in exile. I'm a citizen of Zambia. I've got an interest. So whatever I say as a Zambian, you must take it serious. Number two, I am a president of a political party. 
I may be in exile, but I still remain a president of the Economic and Equity Party. I'm a president of a political party. I'm an opposition leader. You can't dismiss me. Number three, I've got a following. You can't dismiss me. You can't dismiss a person who has got more following than any of you. I've got more following. Look at the people that are watching even right now. So many people are watching. This video, by the time I'm finishing, it would have been watched by at least 10,000 people. At least 10,000 people. By tomorrow morning, this video would have been watched by more than 40,000 people. So this is not a person that you can dismiss to say, no, 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 it is just there. No, you can't. You can't dismiss me just like that. If you don't dismiss me when I talk, because if I was in the country, if I was in the country just talking like this, you would have come to arrest me. You, have, you would have come to arrest me. So if you don't dismiss me when you think that I've committed a crime, you arrest me. Why should you dismiss me when I challenge you? Why should you dismiss me? Why should you, uh, you know, make it petty to say, no, it is just tired? No, 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 no. You, if you, if I say something and you are within your reach, you will arrest me. You do arrest me. And you go to court and testify to say, this guy has got so much following, so many people. That's, that's how you testify in court. So if you can do all that, when I challenge you, you should equally give this, give it the same weight. The same weight that you give when you say, no, you said something which is not true. Eh? And therefore, we want you to go to jail. This time around, I'm challenging you. Awaku parliament, tell me how many people have you employed since you PND came into power? How many people have you fired? How many people have you put aside since you PND came into power? Since Vanelli Moot took, took over. Tell me if it is not true that SEC invest, is investigating you and some of your officers went to be interviewed. Respond to say it, Vanelli Moot, to say, mm -mm, I never went to SEC. Vanelli Moot, respond. Zambian people want to hear. These are too many people that you cannot ignore. You need to clarify this. Why did you go to ACC? Isn't it true that you intimidated people at ACC? Isn't it true that you intimidated you know, Mrs. Mwansa to say, if your ratification comes to parliament, you will not be ratified? And this is the issue that I talk about when you talk about separation of powers. This is the, the issue. Separation of powers, where you have a speaker telling somebody to say, if you come for a ratification, you will not be ratified. Is that, is that, is that good? If in our land up, I'm challenging you. Don't dismiss it. Minister, Minister of Defense. We challenge the Minister of, Minister of, Minister of Defense. We challenge this government to say, tell us, where, where is the Gulf Stream? Who does it carry? What is happening? And in your response, he goes, it is none of your business. I mean, that is madness as a minister. I'm telling you, that is mad madness. It's stupidity and foolishness, utter foolishness of the highest order. Such arrogance is not expected from a public, a public servant. That Gulf Stream is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a property of the Zambians. It does not belong to Aka It does not belong to you. It does not belong to Edgar Lungu. It belongs to the Zambian people. So when we ask about it, you brought it to the public domain, Imomwebe by UPND. It is you people who started talking about the public, the Gulf Stream. Hey, Gulf Stream, Gulf Stream, Gulf Stream. Now you have realized that whatever you are saying is not true. It's a lie. You, when we ask you, you say it is none of your business. No. You should not be dismissing issues when we raise issues and you want to dismiss them like, you know, they are petty. No. This is very serious. It's very serious for, for, especially for a speaker, to go and intimidate because that is interference. And Corruption Commission must work independently without interference. But here we have the head of one of our arms of government going to intimidate SEC. That is very serious. Where there is morality, she should even resign. Nelly Muti should, should be able, she should resign. Nelly Muti, she should resign. 
where there, there is morality, where people have good conscience, moral conscience, she should resign. So, but at least, the least that you can do is to explain to, the, to, to us what you went to do at, at, at ACC. Now, he went to Ankani Mdala, he went to Lufumo. Lufumo, he Lufumo explained what is happening with our, uh, with our Gulf Stream. Baaka in the HLM, you were the one in the forefront talking about the Gulf Stream. Tell us, where is the Gulf Stream? Who is it carrying? What is happening? How are you maintaining the Gulf Stream? We want to know. These are genuine questions, real questions. Substantive issues that need answers. That need answers. You can hate me all you want, but I bring real issues. I don't deal in pettiness. I talk about real issues. Explain about that Gulf Stream. Can you also explain the Ministry of Home, Minister of Health, up to now, Yerama containers with that compromised medicine, what has happened? Can we have an update so far? What is happening? What is happening with that medicine? Where have you taken that medicine? Have you started giving it to people so that I want to kufwa? How many people do you want to kill with your carelessness, with your recklessness? How many people do you want to kill? Sylvia Masevo, as much as she has been transferred, because this is the problem of these reshuffles. It is just like move, moving a person from a trouble that she has created and you move them somewhere else. Sylvia Masevo, as much as she has gone there, she's a corrupt minister. She's a corrupt minister that should be taken on to task. That should be taken on to task for the corruption that they did to bring that medicine. For the recklessness that they did to keep that medicine out there. And these issues are issues that we should keep on following. We should not just discuss issues to Aleka, to Alanda, to Alanda, to Afposa, to Alanda, to Alanda, to Afposa. No, we should continue talking about some of these issues. And, uh, and this is a problem. This is what we are lacking somehow in the media. Where, you know, we have that consistency. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to survive. I do understand our media, it's very difficult to survive in Zambia. So, following up such stories and whatever, whatever, even the compromise that is there, there is no democracy. Media freedom is not there. Media freedom is not there. Because people are being targeted. They are being targeted. Tawakawana is no, a useless cadre. He's on the media houses intimidating them, intimidating them, which is quite unfortunate. But can we look at these issues what is happening to that medicine what has happened to that medicine eh? we want to know what about ubunga where are we where are we with this rotten poisonous mini meal where are we my dog is is dying right now my dog is dying right now because of that 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 because of ubunga eh? and people are dying i'm sure i'm sure it is just that i mean the problem to our in Zambia, we are not able to, to, to connect some of the, these ailments. We are not able to connect to the source. To Irisha Nyafe, yo kulukule fimba, ukulukule fimba, kwa tampilesha, au kwa tampilefie. Kwa tampilefie, takwa avad kwa tampilefie. There must be a reason why, you know, you had that condition. But we are not, most of the times we are not able to tell. And we only say, hey, ah, katuishi, ah, 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 ah. We need to wake up. We need to wake up. We need to be getting explanations to why people die, especially when they, they were healthy, when they were young, they didn't have uh, underlying conditions. We need to know. We need to be having uh, you know, explanations. We need to be demanding for this because some of these people are being killed by people uh, you know, poisonous medicines which have been compromised, bad medicines which have been brought by these government officials. Sometimes we are dying because of this millennial, you know, this guy from at Thomas Ziambo, from Whistleblower, he was talking about this, he's in court. He's in court at no, he's, he's alarming the nation, he's alarming the nation. They charged him with sedition, I think. For talking about this, what is this, uh, GMOs? Eh? 
but but look what is happening now look what is happening now now we have you know people dogs and people dying i can assure you if dogs are dying you can't tell me that no there are no dogs that are there are no people that are dying no there must be people the only problem is that we are not able to link the the the, the deaths to, to 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 this problem but i can i am very sure if dogs are dying if we can have dogs dying 400 dogs dying in a short period certainly there are people that have died out of this uh, uh, consuming this this poisonous uh, poisonous maze and these are real issues that we cannot run away from that a government has to be responsible has to respond to we are talking about even load shading i mean we take things lightly this load shading we need to understand what, how did you, it is not just about a, a, a drought a, which has been, has never existed, eh? has never existed. No, it is not true. We used to have drought even during Arabi. A PF came into power, there was drought. Edgar Ungu had drought. The other day I heard Vaka in the HLM accounting eh, when you went to and you couldn't hey, we have a cholera, hey, we have uh, a COVID, we have had, uh, you know, uh, Chilala. But look, Vaka in the HLM, you didn't, you didn't encounter COVID. Stop lying. You didn't encounter COVID. You came in 19, in 2021, when COVID was finishing. When COVID was finishing, you didn't encounter COVID. So shut up. Stop talking about COVID. Cholera, it is because of your stupidity. I'm telling you, it is because of your stupidity when these guys had made sure that uh, they, they, had, they, had, um, they, they had made, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, strategic, I don't know, strategic measures. They had made measures to make sure that we didn't have we didn't have we didn't have cholera in 2020. We didn't have cholera in 2021. We didn't have cholera in 2019. But because when you came in with your stupid Sylvia Masebo, you messed up things, and that's why we had cholera. So this is not a natural calamity that just befell on us. No, it was because of your carelessness that we had cholera. And this drought that you are talking about, this drought, your friends had drought. So there is nothing that you can be saying whatever, whatever. The reason why we have drought is because, the, why we have load shedding is because you continued exporting electricity when people were saying, don't do it. You continue overusing the turbines. You continued overusing the turbines and the water was running out. You depleted the water. Vahaka in the HMA and your government, you depleted the water because you opened the dam to full capacity for you to generate electricity to, start to, to export. This is the reason, not Chilala, uh -uh. not Chilala. So these are real issues. And this is why I talk. This is why I fail to keep quiet. Even if things are, are hitting me so hard, yes, I'm going through challenges. But then, I have to talk about some of these things. It's a sacrifice that I make. And God help me that I survive. But otherwise, we are in trouble. That's why I'm saying, Haka Inde Ishidem must go. When I'm talking about Edgar Lungu come back, Edgar Lungu come back, Edgar Lungu come back, it's not that I, I love Edgar Lungu, eh, whatever, whatever. No, it's not that I love Edgar Lungu. Edgar Lungu is not my relative. Edgar Lungu is not at, at finish na finish. Uh -uh. But at least for Edgar Lungu, at least for Edgar Lungu, far away from this man. Balungu, eh, Balungu was steering the country during the time of COVID. It was so hard. Many countries went down during the time of COVID. We survived COVID with Edgar Lungu. You can't, even if you talk about, even if you want to say, Chilala, I'm telling you, I wish he would be, a, he'd be my paymaster. I'm telling you, Pesi, Pesi Chama, I wish he would be my paymaster. 
Ulela and the pace, you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know my financial challenges. So that's why you can say that. And it's bullshit, total bullshit. Nibu chikarafio. Tell you that I'm sorry, I, I have to, but because if you have a poor, you don't know what I'm going through. You're in the pandarama. Therefore, in the rama. Therefore, in the rama. And well, I, I, I don't have it. I don't have it. I've got serious pressure. Serious pressure. Error and that the pay master. Chikarachov. Stupid. Anyway, the point is that, so it's not about that. It's not about that. It's about, it's about, if in Tufiavi, but at least somebody that can change things. Somebody that can change things. And Edgar Lungu, at least, is not the best. He's not the best. And even now, not that I'm agreeing with everything with Edgar Lungu, I don't agree, for example, me, I, I, I don't want... I don't want this issue of retribution. I don't want retribution. I don't want. Even Percy, even if I were to become president, I wouldn't follow Percy because Percy, whatever, whatever. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I can, I can get upset, but really, to go and start, you know, victimizing people, retribution is not good. Retribution does not take the country forward. It just takes country backwards. It just takes the country backwards. Of course, when you're talking about criminality, criminality is criminality. When you're talking about criminality, criminality is criminality. Okay? If people are doing something that is criminal, for example, these people that are sending money outside that Rambo Clash Wesha Mufiola. I mean, that is criminality. That is criminal, really. You, 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 you have to deal with that. That is not retribution. But not when you are talking about them politics, you know, because I learned the chakuti, because I learned the chakuti, uh -uh, that we shouldn't. That we shouldn't. I am totally against. And I will tell you that we had these kind of incidences during the time of PF. Even during the time of PF, we had certain people who were fired on tribal lines. This is the fact. We had people, Tongas, it was very difficult during the time of PF. It was difficult for Tongas, you know, to, to, to prove themselves. It was very difficult. A number of people who are coming from this region, of course, some of them were paged. And that shouldn't be. Okay? It shouldn't be. But then again, because it happened in PF, it is not a justification that it should happen now. And now it is even worse. We had these instances during the PF, but now it is even worse. This is a problem. It is even worse. Now we have a bigger problem with the UPND. Like just what I'm from talking about here about Neri Muti. Eh? Then government officials, I mean, it's like, no, but it's our time. It's our time. It's our time. This is not right. This is not progressive for our country. We cannot be saying it is our time. It is our time. It's our time. It's our time. It's our time. It's our time. Because this is the attitude that you have. Now you have this attitude, you know, you feel you are entitled. You have got this entitlement, you know, this right that it is your time to eat. And yet, the majority Zambians are suffering. The majority Zambians are suffering. So yes, as much as we had those problems, even in PF, and now it is worse. And this is why I'm saying, Ed Galungu is the best. Ed Galungu is the best. Yes, Somebody will say, no, but why don't you let, uh, your, uh, people have been saying, oh, why don't you let uh, other people to, to contest? Why can't Ed Galungu, whatever, whatever. Ed Galungu is the only one who is sold out. At the moment, between now and the time that we're going to have an election, Ed Galungu is the only one who is sold out. There is no one who has got the popularity. There is no one who has got the influence other than Ed Galungu at the moment. And of course... Edgar Lungu is enjoying that because he's actually a former president. We don't have another former president. Maybe if we had another former president, maybe. But we don't have. He's a former president. He enjoyed that popularity. He was sold out. He, you know, he, he was there. He was everywhere. So he's already sold out. It is easier. And it is not true to say, no, people don't want Edgar Lungu. People don't want Edgar Lungu. He's loved by people. That's a fact. Edward Galungu is loved by, by people. 
especially when you talk about the, uh, you know the moderate people they the 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 people in the villages and whatever they love Ed Galungu. You can't compare Ed Galungu na HH. You can't in the villages. You can't. You can't in the villages among farmers. You can't. Haka in the since he came into power, he has just been missing agriculture. He has just been missing the village people. So take Ed Galungu and the HH before villagers, before farmers. I'm telling you, they will tell you Ed Galungu is the man. So, he's already sold out. And those of you who are in opposition, that's why I've been begging you to say, please, let us just rally behind this man. Because if we don't, if we don't, if we don't, we might give chance to Haka Inde Ichilema to continue. And if Haka Inde Ichilema continues, he will be more, more of a dictator than he is now. He will be a hardcore a, a, a dictator. He's already a dictator, but it will be worse. So we are better off having this Ed Galungu. And one thing that is for sure is that Ed Galungu can, we will not be able to contest another election. Never. Ed Galungu will never be able to contest another election. Never. This would be his last. This is going to be his last. So we will not be able to deal with the issues of, you know, uh, somebody fighting to be voted back. No, we will not deal with that. We will not deal with that. It will remain with us. And those of you who think you are even popular, you will even be more popular. You will even be more popular. Because you would have, you know, you would have appreciated due to time. You would have appreciated maybe you will work with Edgar Lungu in government. That will give you more popularity. Some of us, that's what we are looking for. That's what we are looking for. We time to pass and be able to have even a bit of experience. We want experience. Some of you, you are lucky. You were in government before. You have got experience. But some of us, we don't have experience. So, but nonetheless, you people who have got experience, you can even be in front of us. And some of us, we have got no issues. After five years, I'll still be young. I'll still be young after five years. I wouldn't mind supporting another person for the next 10 years. I don't mind. I don't mind. My presidency, unless a miracle happens, unless a miracle happens, in my presidency, it will come in the next 10 to 15 years. In the next 10 to 15 years. Unless a miracle happens, a miracle can happen. And along the way, negotiated. Now, so poor. Maybe when a, if a miracle happens, but ordinarily I don't believe in um, you know I'm a shortcuts. Me I don't believe in shortcuts. I believe in working things over time, you know, applying myself and so on and so forth. That's what I believe in. So for now, I am saying Edgar Lungu, not because of what Pace is talking about to say Edgar Lungu is is paying me. No, I am being reasonable. I'm being reasonable, and my reasons here. You can challenge me. I'm going to open phone lines. Challenge me on my reasons. Challenge me if we have anybody who is as popular as uh, Ed Galungu. Challenge me if we have anybody who is as influential as Ed Galungu. That's why you are even twisting his words. Hey, is he saying civil servants? Hey, he didn't say one summer civil servants. No. But you are twisting his words because he's popular. He has got influence. He has got influence. Edgar Lungu Talandasan. How many minutes did he speak Kusanfe? How many minutes? How many minutes did Edgar Lungu speak Kusanfe? But look, up to today, we are still talking about what he said. Eh? We are still talking about what he said. Eh? I've, I'm sure I've spoken now, uh, uh, over an hour. My words will not go that far. But at least me, I'm going to follow following. How many people are they going to get? At least me, I've even got a following. I even have a following. But Ed Galungu, when Ed Galungu, even if he, he goes live, eh? I'll under one hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It so much will be, will be said. And it, it doesn't matter. Yes, you can be not be agreeing. You can say he didn't say something sensible and whatever. It's okay. The point is, he has got influence. Whatever rubbish that you think he could have said, you are still discussing it. 
Baaka inde ichi ni ba, eh, me I cannot answer to shan, 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 shan. You have answered. You have answered. Baaka inde ichi ni ba, does he keep quiet? But tabu kwa wana, you have been having a press conference. Tabu kwa wana, having a press conference. Ba, 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 Jack Mwimbu having a press conference. Over a very short statement, which was spoken within five minutes. Within five minutes, but look at your government. Look at your government. Look at your candidate. ZNBC, you have made a queue of people to talk about Ed Galungu. Over a statement here, four minutes. Four minutes. But look, Muchiri Mulelanda, Muchiri Mulelanda, Muchiri Mulelanda, influence, Muchiri impact. This is the man that can win an election before we again start in the HDM. The rest of us, it is not easy. The rest of us, it is not easy. It is not easy. Bamamu I know some of you are going to contest in the next election, but in them ever. If there will be, if there will be a candidate that will get 50,000 votes, 50,000 votes, Muke Sanjev. Pali ufinga fika na kuli 100, au ni ishimu waume. Uka fika, uka kwa tano votes, 100,000 votes. Ni ishimu waume na nguyo mwana kash. Otherwise, we don't have, just to get 100,000 votes muzambia. 50,000, awa kai kwa nisha. Baume na nguyo mwana kash, nika wapero kuboku. But, but Ed Galungu, Ed Galungu, he doesn't even have to say anything. Kuhuika mwifi pala pa balo, Ed Galungu. He will pour votes. He will pour votes. That's why I'm talking about Ed Galungu. Challenge me on the issues that I've raised. Challenge me on the issues that I've raised. I will come, especially you people who, are, who think differently from what I'm thinking. I want to hear. I'm an open-minded person. I am a Democrat. I want to hear different views. So you can, you can call in and, uh, and uh, uh, give me your different views. You can call in and give me your different views. It doesn't matter. You don't have to agree with me. I want to hear what you have to say. What you think about the so many issues that I've, uh, I've raised uh, uh, in this presentation. So, for Charlie, if Where is that paper of mine? She requests a change paper. No, Edgarungu, Edgarungu. I'm telling you, it's not just for me. It's for all of us. Edgarungu coming back, it's not just for me. It's for all of us. Hey, no, Edgarungu is not giving uh, solutions and whatever, whatever. Let's face it. Edgarungu is not an orator. Ed Galungu takwa tobu fi. Waku ve pale ve pe fi akube. But at least in Gai Kala is able to do something. He is more of a doer than a talker. Waku mi ve po waku mista switch talk. Ed Galungu works. That's, that's the difference. You can want to say no. Ed Galungu tarilanda. Ed Galungu tarilanda. Ed Galungu tarilanda. But ala womba. So fish mulefwa. Munefwa ya ulanda, like waka inde ichi ni male mibe pa fi ufi, ale mibe pa fi ufi, ale mibe pa ufi. Awa wale nda pari free education. Wa Eden, Eden, eh, Sparo, eh, Sparos. Hmm. Tamuwa kwa ta national itunturu. Wa Eden Sparos. My Eden, Eden Sparos, your free education in Rilanda, right now as we are talking. Hmm. Ya shani. Your free education will end up. Your free education will end up. Your free education will end up right now. Ama schools, schools have not been given money to run. To run free education, you need to, you need to give the, uh, the schools money to, to, to run those schools. Unfortunately, 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 the, the schools are not receiving 
their allocation, the money they, which they're supposed to be given, so that they can run schools. Yeah. So, uh, they, uh, uh, I then sparrows, I, I don't think you followed. Fiance Fudel and Daponinda and Dapo, KCM, KCM has no life. Eh? Read my article tomorrow, I will write it. Munungush takes down insumina. A dual carriageway, 25 years eh? given to people to be collecting money. Eh? So these are not points. Free education, they have just messed up our education. They have messed up our education with this free education of theirs because they have brought free education and yet they don't have, uh, you know, they don't have the, they're not giving the schools the resources to run those schools. KCM, KCM doesn't have money. We need money to make KCM tick. We need money. And Vedanta doesn't have the money. Vedan, Vedanta is not a solution. Vedanta is not a solution. Mopani, Mopani, I mean, we have just given a, our mind to foreigners whom we don't know. It is just basically Haka Inde Ichirema who has gotten that, you know, with his friends. Mm. What is happening? Are you telling me, if India and the Patama phone, Avana Nkane, power is a challenge mm. because some towers go off and you have challenges you know, to, to make your phone calls. Others, I'm a battery nap because it's not, it's not normal that uh, people are failing to, to go through. The number is there. <laughs> the number is there. So I don't have challenges, apparently. I don't have somebody to challenge me on anything. How? My extension number and, and I don't have a way of testing. I think number and number which number which tackle something. Tako ava thirty third woman. It can't be. This phone not to be ringing. <laughs> hmm. There we are. I have a first caller. Hello. Hello. I'm Bashan Water. I'm Kamau Mbem. I am quite not to Mr. I this is my second time calling. Mm. We know what is happening. So, Anyway, mm, I think I've made my, my presentation. I'll leave it here for, 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 for tonight. Thank you very much for following. May God bless you. May God bless Zambia. Bye-bye.